Hey kids, did you know that we can use word problems to help solve multiplication equations? Let's take a look. Word problems have rules. Did you know word problems give clues that make it a little easier for us to understand what is being asked? So I guess the only question is, what are word problems asking us to do? Well, let's think. In doing this, we need to look at the two parts of every word problem. We first need to translate the words and the information into numbers. And then, two, we determine what operation is used and solve the equation. Let's try to apply our strategies. Phil works seven hours every day when he goes to work. Then Phil works five days a week. How many hours does Phil work every week? Now let's apply our steps to solve this problem. Let's first determine what the words translate into numbers will be used for. We have seven hours a day and we have five days a week. We have determined we have five days with each day having seven hours. We determine that we'll be multiplying. So five days times seven hours or five times seven equals h with h or hours equaling 35. We've now applied both of our strategies and using this information, we determine that 5 days times 7 hours a day gives us an equation of 5 times 7. We then determine that Phil works a total of 35 hours per week. That's great. So now, using what we've learned, let's try another word problem. This one I want you to try a little bit more on your own. In this one, a pack of pens contains 6 pens. How many pens are in 7 packs? What do we need to figure out first? Very good, you're right. First we need to figure out what the words mean. Well, one, we have a pack of pens with six, and two, we have seven packs of those pens. Excellent. So let's look at what you figured out. You see that six pens times seven packs equals the number of pens total. So we'll use P for pens. So six times seven equals P, with P equaling 42 pens. You did great on that one. One of the major factors that we always have to remember is we must always figure out what our numbers represent. Then we use that information to determine our unknown, usually represented by a letter. As you move forward in doing these types of problems, it's important for students to understand that our ability to solve multiplication problems and have all our facts memorized is very important. Good job today. Now let's try a few multiplication word problems on our own. Use the link below. Good luck and have fun.